So to set up a sidebar page, I'm going to open up a new file and I'm going to save it as sidebar.php. And you have to save it as that. And I'll just save it like it is right now because I want to show you something. I'm going to go back to my browser and refresh. And you'll see that everything has gone away. And the reason for that is because uh, we need to add another WordPress function in our sidebar.php uh, that lets, uh, again, you can look at it like um, letting WordPress know that we have a sidebar and there are widgets that we want to show. So um, I'm going to put PHP tag and I'll type in dynamic sidebar. And there we go. And um, inside there, you have to put the name of your sidebar. So I'll put main side, main sidebar. And put a semicolon and save it. And when I refresh it, it should come right back. There we go. We can add just regular um, HTML to this sidebar file as well. Uh, if I had a div, actually, with the class of uh, spam4. Let's say I had a, another title. We'll just put the static content. And um, this is just dummy, dummy text. You don't really have to type all this out, but no, so, so long as you put something. Um, what this content does is it shows up regardless of uh, whether or not you have a widget in here. So if it, so if at any point you don't have any widgets, you'll at least have some content uh, to show up on the side. I'll save this and go back to the browser and refresh. And now you see we have static content, and it's on every single page, uh, as well as the widgets. And I think that's pretty much it for our inside page template, for now at least. Uh, what I still need to do is use WordPress to generate this menu, because right now it's hard-coded. It's not like uh, this one up here. Also on the home page, um, these post titles are not from actual WordPress posts. They're just coded in, so... We need to use the WordPress function to actually uh, loop through all of the blog postings and uh, thumbnails and articles and uh, link to those pages.